come behind, come from behind women like that? And what's the pain like after that? That's a great feeling. I mean, you, can, you, know, you see the girls celebrating and how happy they are, and you know, tears in their eyes, and it's certainly, you know, it's 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 about them. It's about the players, and uh, you know, it, it obviously makes you real happy to see, you know, that kind of um, you know reaction, that kind of joy from from your team. And, you know, certainly, uh, you know, it was a great game, a great effort by both teams. I thought, but uh, you know. Uh, Go into a game like that, you're not sure what kind of effort you're going to get. And I thought both teams played real hard and, and, and left everything out here, which was, which was great to see. And, you know, at the end of the, the day, to get a win is, uh, you know, it's a pretty special feeling for these girls. Um, what's it say about the resilience of this team to have two straight overtime games and win this one like that? Well, I think it's 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 you know we been a resilient team all year. We've had a lot of ups and downs. And we've lost a lot of tight games. We've lost, I think, three overtime games this year. So, so to you know, to finish that one off, to, to tie it up with nine seconds left, and then to to, to win it in overtime is certainly, um, you know, getting over that hump, getting over that hurdle, and you know, the very last opportunity. So, uh, it's a great feeling. Um, Teal, you've been pretty quiet in the game today. Um, not too much going in them with nine point six seconds to go. You score the uh, game tying goal. Tell us uh, what that was like. It was a great feeling. Ashton um, made a great play on the four check to be able to get um, the puck, and then I just saw it through it in front. Helen took a great shot from the point, and it was just lying there. I just was in the right place at the right time. Justine, can you walk me through that overtime goal? Uh, well, it got dumped in, and I saw uh, Chelsea uh, four check bring it around the net, and then. Uh, me and Jordan were both in front of the net, and she just threw it in front, and uh, Jordan lifted the girl's stick, and it just was sitting there. I couldn't have asked for a better pass or anything, and it felt awesome to score it. So. Sydney, 36, 35 saves today. Um, you let in two goals, but are you happy with where you played? I'm very happy. Uh, all of the goals were pretty spot on goals, minus the first one that hit off my own defense end, but I really proud of the way that I played because um, I did everything I could do and can't ask for anything more when you walk up the ice. Sydney, if you could um, walk us through the near miss of a, of a goal in the first period where um, the puck actually ended up dribbling into the net after the referee's whistle, what was going through your mind? Um, I, I actually, I had it at first and so I was like, okay, I'm just being confident and it pulled through. So, <laughs> really happy about that. Um, you know, I haven't really gotten a lot of calls my way this year, and nor has my team, and to finally get one in such an important game, it's just like the cake. Coach, what's it like to end this weekend after you know, being in the Outlaw Division? Um, what's your thoughts about the weekend as a whole? Well, I think it was a great experience. Um, you know, it's just real, you know, as a team, we were real excited to, to get to this, this point in the year, and, uh, you know, just real, happy to see our seniors get that opportunity to get to the final four. We, you know, knocked on the door a couple of times and, and, and didn't get there. Um, so it's great for them to have that opportunity and, and certainly win their last game is, 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 is great. You know, I mean, not too many kids can say they won their last game of the season or their last games of their career. So I'm real <clears throat> happy for those kids and, and I think it's a great experience certainly for our younger players, um, you know, to get to this point, you know, we have nine. Ten new players in the lineup every every night, and um, you know for them to gain that experience of a final four.